Hi, today's video is about the work done, the work done by the constant force. So it has actually, you know, the definition, the note is basically a theoretical part which includes the work done the, by a constant force, the positive work, negative work and also the when the work done is zero and also the conditions when the work done is zero. It also includes the conservative and the non-conservative forces, their definitions and examples. So please do watch the whole video and if you have any doubt regarding the video, please do comment on the comment section below and if you like my video, please do like and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press that bell icon so that whenever I upload any video, you get the notification first. So I am Dinesh, you are watching Dinesh Nyana classes. So let's start with our class today. Work done by a constant force. Now when a constant force F acting on a body produces a displacement S in the body, then the work done by the force W is the dot product of the force and displacement which is given as W is equals to F dot S. So this is what? The force and this is the displacement. Okay. Now, let theta be the smaller angle. Now, considering that the displacement and force, they are not in the same direction and they are making an angle theta. So this angle theta is basically the angle between the force and the displacement. If theta is a smaller angle between F and S, now you can, as I have shown this in the figure, so W is what? W equals F S cos theta. So this is W is F S cos theta. Now see, <clears throat> when displacement is produced in the direction of application of force, in the direction of application of force, theta is 0 degree. So this theta is actually, this theta is 0 degree because this force and displacement, they are both acting in the same direction. So we know that cos 0 is 1. So dot product W F dot S, which is F S cos theta, cos theta becomes 1, this thing becomes 1. So what is W? W is F dot S when they are in the same direction. Now see, again you consider this. This is F S cos theta. Basically this can be written as like F cos theta times S. Now see, this is F cos theta, F cos theta and this is S. So basically what is work done? What work done when there is an angle between the applied force and the displacement. So work done is basically the component of force in the direction of displacement. So F cos theta is what? It is the component of force in the direction of displacement into the magnitude of the displacement. Okay, now the SI units, the units of work done. <clears throat> we know that the SI unit of work done is joules. So this is Joule. SI unit of work done is joules. In CGS system, the unit of work is erg. This is erg and the relation between joule and erg is 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 ergs. So that's 1 joule is 10 to the power 7 ergs. Now, nature of work done. Although work done is a scalar quantity, its value may be positive, negative or even zero. So first of all, what is the positive work? Again, we know that W is F dot S, which is F S cos theta. Now, the condition for the positive work is that when theta is acute, means it is less than 90 degree. We know that cos theta is positive <clears throat> or theta equals 0 degree when the force and displacement, they are in the same direction because cos 0 degree is 1. Now, for an example, you can take when a body falls freely under the action of gravity. What is theta? Theta is actually 0 degree. We know that cos 0 degree is 1. Therefore, work done by the gravity on a body falling freely is positive. Similarly, if suppose they are making some angle theta. You can take an example like when a lawn roller is pulled by applying a force along the handle at an acute angle. We know that at an acute angle cos theta is positive. When it is less than 90, cos theta is positive. Work done by the applied force is positive. Negative work. Now negative work is again W is F dot S which is F is cos theta. Now the condition is that when theta is obtuse means greater than 90 degree cos theta is negative or theta is 180 degree. Cos 180 degrees minus 1. 
Now for an example you can take when a body is thrown up, its motion is opposed by the gravity. The angle theta between the gravitational force and the displacement. See gravitational force is acting in the downward direction and the motion is in the upward direction. So what is the angle? 180 degree. So hence work done by the gravity on the body moving upward is negative. <coughs> When a body is moved over a rough horizontal surface, the motion is opposed by the force of friction. Now see, hence work done by frictional force is negative. See, the point to be noted here is that work done by the applied force is not negative. It is a frictional force. Why? Because frictional force is acting opposite to the direction of displacement. Now, zero work. See, again W is F dot S which is F S cos theta. So W is Fs cos theta, when work done is 0, that means Fs into cos theta is 0. So either force is 0, displacement is 0, or cos theta is 0. And we know that cos theta is 0, cos theta is 0, when theta is 90 degree. So either F is 0, S is 0, or cos theta is 0. So cos theta is 0, when theta is 90 degree. Okay. Now see, for an example, you can take, like, when we fail to move a heavy stone, However hard we may try, work done by S is zero. Why? Because the displacement is zero, because the uh, stone is not moving. Now similarly, when a coolie carrying some load on his head moves on a horizontal platform, what is theta? Is 90 degree. Therefore, the work done by the coolie is zero. Similarly, a person carrying a briefcase moves on a horizontal road, work done by the person will be zero only. Okay, now you take an example. <clears throat> this. Consider this. Now, when a body is tied to one end of a string is rotated in a circle. Is rotated in a circle. Work done by the centripetal force applied along the string is zero. Because see, now see, centripetal force always acts the center. Now, this is a diagram for at some for some instant. Now, at this point, the displacement vector is given by the tangent. We know that the angle between them is what? 90 degree. So, if you apply the formula, W is F dot S or F S cos 90, cos 90 is 0, hence this total work done is 0. So here the work done is 0. Similarly, no work is done when a satellite revolves in a circular orbit around a planet. Okay, now comes the conservative forces. Now see, a force is said to be conservative if work done by or against the force in moving a body depends only on the initial and the final position of the body and not on the nature of the path followed between the initial and the final position. These are known as the conservative forces. So mainly the work done depends only on the initial and final position so and not on the path followed by them. Look at these four diagrams. Now see, in this case, sorry, in this case, the <coughs> object is carried vertically upward. In this case, it has carried through an inclined plane, they have the same height edge. Similarly with this, it has been taken through the steps to the height edge. It has been taken to this path, some random path to the height edge. Now if you see, in all these cases, the work done is basically MGH. So these are what? These are the gravitational forces. So if you calculate and see, <coughs> we'll see that the total work done by these forces will be MGH. So the gravitational force is an example of conservative forces. Now see, there are other examples of conservative force. You can take elastic spring, electrostatic force between two electric charges, magnetic force between two magnetic poles. Now one point which is to be noted is that in a conservative forces, we know that work done by or against a conservative force in moving through any round trip, closed path. Now closed path means we have the same final and the initial position. Okay, where final and the initial position coincide, you can say same with the initial position, means final position coincides with the initial position of the body, then the work done is zero. So if you take a body from like A to B, from here to here, the work done will be, the work done will always be zero in the conservative forces. Now, non-conservative forces. Now, a force is said to be a non-conservative force 
if the work done by or against the force in moving the body from one position to another depends on the path between the two positions. Examples is the friction, frictional forces. Now see. Now frictional forces are non-conservative forces. If a body is moved from point A to another point B on a rough table, work done against the frictional force shall depend on the length of the path between A and B, not only on the positions of A and B. Now further, if the body is brought back to the initial position A, the work has to be done against the frictional forces, which opposes the motion always, or you can say which is always acts in the direction opposite to the motion. Hence, the work done against the frictional force in moving a body over a round trip is not zero in this case, in a non-conservative force. Now, power. So, power is basically, <coughs> this is the rate of doing work, which is work done by time, W by T. Now, we know that work is what? Work is F into S. Now, this is F into S. And we also know that S by T is what? the velocity so hence power is can be written as the dot product of f dot v so this is our another formula power is f dot v hmm. now the si unit of power is basically what one watt is defined as one joule by one second or when one joule of work is done in one second that is one watt another popular unit is horsepower hp and when we know that one horsepower is 746 watts.